can't outrun him, and we're losing that oil. When you get to the top of the grade, stop. same mysterious individual who stole the plans for Dr. Layton's jet plane. The purple monster. That's right. And since he didn't get the fuel, he'll certainly try to steal your secret formula. Well, I'd better sign a guard to watch the safe every night. Oh, I want that job myself. I have a scheme that'll give you complete protection. Let's hear it. I'd like you to give me your formula. I'll turn it over to the Foundation for safekeeping. Then I want you to write out a false formula naming octoline as a secret chemical ingredient. Well, why octoline? Because it's made by only one company, which the Foundation controls. If the Purple Monster does get this false formula, he'll think he has to have octoline. And his next appearance will be at the octoline plant. And you'll nab him there. That's an excellent idea, Craig. I'm sorry we had to lose that rocket fuel. It would have been worthwhile if Foster and the girl had been removed. However, I still believe we can get a hold of Saunders' formula. Well, I'd better take several men with me. His Saunders will surely be on his guard now. On guard against a night raid by you and your men, yes. But not against an afternoon call by the respectable Dr. Layton. How do you do, Saunders? I hope I'm not intruding. Not at all, Doctor. Glad to see you. Won't you sit down? It's funny, I was thinking about you. I was wondering if the loss of the rocket fuel would delay your work on the jet plane. Oh, I don't think so. Of course, I've had to start all over again since the original plans were stolen. Perhaps if I had a look at your formula, I could speed things along by basing my calculations on that. No, Doctor. The formula's better off in my safe than in your head. You're carrying enough important secrets around with you. I'm sorry. But would I be out of order if I asked to see the gyro compass you've been working on? No, not at all. The model's out in the shop being demagnetized. If you wait a few minutes, I'll get it for you. Grab it. All right? one door and come in another? You always go through people's confidential papers. The draft came through the window and scattered them. I was merely putting them back. No. Not a very likely story, Doctor. I believe you were searching my safe. Probably looking for my rocket fuel formula. That's right. Get it for me. You must be out of your mind, Dr. Layton. Quite the contrary. And I warn you, if you try to summon anyone, I'll fire. Get me the formula. Open it and hand me the contents. think you've been cooperating with a purple monster all along. I'll tell you something even more fantastic. I'm not Dr. Layton. What? 
I happen to be the purple monster, a visitor from Mars. I'm merely using the late doctor's body. In the near future, my people will invade and conquer the Earth. It's unbelievable, but true. However, I wouldn't care to have you repeat it to anyone. This pellet contains a quantity of Martian gas, harmless to me, but fatal to you. Trying to reach you by phone for two hours. I was at the courthouse. What's the trouble? Saunders was found dead in his office. So the purple monster has caught us off guard again. Snur Sleep had been rifled. And we found an empty envelope on the floor marked rocket fuel formula. Well, that means the octoline plant will be attacked next. I'll get right out there. You better telephone the news to Dr. Layton. Mixing up a new batch now. Where's the warehouse? Well, I, I don't see what business that is of yours. No. Show him, Ed. I know a way to loosen your tongue. Draw some of that acid. Warehouse on River Street. That's all we want to know. Drop those guns.
Now keep him pinned down. 